guys and welcome again to my channel so i want to start by saying a very big thank you for all the love i received on my previous video i'm so grateful and also thankful to all my new subscribers so today we're going to be making puff 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 is a very popular street food in cameroon and most african countries like nigeria ghana and it is very simple and easy to make with just four ingredients needed so let's get started so we need three cups of all-purpose flour two and a half teaspoon of yeast two cups to two and one quarter cup of lukewarm water half a cup of sugar half a teaspoon of salt you can add nutmeg it's optional so in a bowl we're going to combine the sugar the salt and the yeast together in this recipe i'm using the instant yeast so i don't have to activate it before using if you're using the regular yeast make sure you activate it with sugar and lukewarm water before adding it to the flour so we'll give it a quick mix and then add in the water and mix it with a spatula So I'm just adding the remaining water that was left in the cup and keep mixing. So just keep mixing till you have a good consistency like you see on the screen. Then I'm just using my hands to mix thoroughly. Next, we'll cover, we'll cover and let it rest for about 45 to one hour. So after an hour, it has doubled in size and it's ready for frying. So you can see the consistency. So we'll fry on medium heat till golden brown. We will put tiny scoops using the space between our thumb and our index finger. If it is your first time doing this, just do it gently and you'll get better with time.
So here is our puff puff looking soft, yummy and tempting. It's so easy to make guys and it's so so good. So you can have this with tea or you can have it just like that. Or if you are from Cameroon, you know of our popular puff puff and beans aka Achombo. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching guys, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more easy and simple recipes. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye. hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is sunita so in today's video we're gonna be making twisted donut this donut is very easy to make and it tastes amazing it melts in your mouth it's a little crunchy on the outside and fluffy inside my kids love this so much and also this is one of my favorite snacks so let's get started these are the ingredients you need three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of active dry yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of unsalted butter. If you're using salted butter, then don't add salt. Three tablespoons of sugar, half a cup of lukewarm milk, half a cup of lukewarm water. So as you can see, I already added my water to my milk. So first of all, we're going to activate our yeast by adding the yeast into the milk and water mixture and giving it a quick stir. Then we're going to let it sit for about five minutes. Next, we're going to mix our dry ingredients. We're going to add in the sugar. Next, we're going to add in the salt. And we're going to mix for about a minute till everything is well incorporated. Next, our yeast is ready. We will then add it to the flour mixture and mix using a spatula to form a dough. Next, we will then use our hands to mix the dough until the dough is no longer sticky. If you have a mixer, this process will be easier for you. But for the sake of those who don't have a mixer, I'm just doing this with my hands. Next, place the dough on a clean flat surface and add your butter. Then knead for about 7 minutes. This can take a little time, but just be patient. So just continue kneading using your hands until the border is well incorporated and your surface is clean. So as you can see, now our dough is soft and ready. Next, you will lightly oil your bowl, then place your dough in it and cover it. So 
So we'll let it rest for about 45 minutes until it double in size. So after 45 minutes, our dough is ready. As you can see, it has doubled in size. So we're just gonna take out the plastic and give it a quick punch, light punch in the middle to remove the air. Then we're gonna place it on our flat surface. So just roll the dough to form a lock shape and then you're gonna cut it into smaller sizes. So next, we're gonna start twisting the, twisting the dough using our hands like so. So just watch this process keenly. So as you can see, I'm twisting the edges in opposite directions to create tension. Then I'm gonna twist the dough. Like so. So make sure you seal your edges well so that it doesn't loosen in the oil while frying. So we can also make a circular twisted shape donut like so, just wash keenly. So we make a circle with the dough and we use the edges to tuck in between the circle to form the shape like you can see on the screen. As you can see, this is our dough after twisting it and it is placed on a parchment paper. So we're gonna let it rest for 20 minutes so that it doubles in size again. So this is our dough after 20 minutes and it's ready for frying. So next we put our oil on the fire over medium heat and leave it for about five minutes. We can use a stick to test if the oil is ready for frying. When we see bubbles, we know our oil is ready for frying. So next, we're gonna start placing our dough one by one in the oil and start frying. So we're gonna keep frying until they are nicely brown on the outside. So 
So we want to make sure our level of heat is on medium. You don't want it very hot and you don't want it very low. So keep frying the remaining batches till we are done. So yay, our donuts are ready. You can see it looking so yummy. I like serving it hot as it just melts in your mouth. So you can you can top it with any toppings of your choice as you can see on the video. It looks so amazing guys. It's so soft and fluffy inside. You can have them as snacks or for breakfast. So give this recipe a try and let me know how it goes. It is very easy and simple to make. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. So thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye. hello beautiful people and welcome again to another video so today we'll be making shrimp fried rice guys this rice is so tasty and packed full of flavors so if you love what you're seeing please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more amazing videos so let's get started so these are the ingredients we need you will need some shrimp you can use any shrimp of your choice you also need uh, some vegetables i'm using carrot and peas I'm also using four cups of cooked rice that has been kept in the fridge in the refrigerator in this recipe you need one day old rice or if you're using rice you cooked on the same day make sure you freeze it for about 15 minutes just so it doesn't get mushy when you're cooking you also need some green onions chopped onions sesame oil one egg soy sauce so that's the rice I use in case you're wondering, basmati rice. I'm going to list all the ingredients at the end of the video. So first of all, we start by seasoning our shrimp. I'm using some bouillon powder. I'm also going to add some black peppers. And I'm just giving it a quick stir. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste to the shrimp. And I'll set it aside for about five minutes. So I'm adding two tablespoons of vegetable oil in my cooking pan to fry the shrimp. So make sure not to overcook your shrimp.
So next, we'll then scramble the egg for about 2 minutes. So I'm adding about 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil and 1 tablespoon of sesame oil to the cooking pan. Then I'm adding in the onions and saute for about 2 minutes. Next, add in the vegetables and fry for about 3 minutes. I added about a teaspoon of bouillon seasoning to the vegetables. Add in the ginger garlic paste and keep stirring. So we'll let the vegetables cook for about 3 to 4 minutes before adding in the rice. Next, add in the rice and stir to mix up the vegetables with the rice. Next, add in the shrimp and the egg. And just give it a good mix. At this point, you want to keep mixing the rice so that it doesn't get burned. Next, add in the soy sauce and sesame oil.
Also adding some green onions to garnish it, then stir for about 5 minutes. So you can also add in some salt or any seasoning of your choice at this point but mine is okay So at this point, our fried rice is pretty much ready to serve. Guys, this is so colorful and packed full of flavors from the shrimps, the ginger and garlic, the burnt-like flavor from the sesame oil. Oh my God, I wish you could taste this. At this point, my house was smelling of this goodness. So guys, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more amazing videos. And also turn on your notifications so that when, I'm, when I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. hello guys and welcome back so in today's video we'll be making this very delicious cameroon fish roll it is very soft inside tasty and crunchy on the outside so before we continue please click on the subscribe button if you haven't so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video so these are the ingredients you will need for the dough you can see it listed on the screen just make sure if you're using salted butter then don't add salt so in a mixing bowl, combine all the dry ingredients, the flour, the sugar, the baking powder, salt and yeast. So I use the instant yeast in this recipe. So mix thoroughly. Next add in the butter and with a clean hand, mix till the butter is well incorporated with the flour. Next, add in the water bit by bit and mix with your hands to form a dough. Please watch this video till the end to get all the tips on how to get the perfect fish roll. So here is our dough, it should not be sticky and not be too hard. Next, place the dough on a clean surface and knead for about 1 minute. Do not over knead. So place the dough in the bowl, cover and let it sit for about 45 minutes. So these are the ingredients used for the filling. So you have some onions, some tomatoes, I use one tomatoes green onions, carrot, and some tuna fish, canned tuna fish. But you can use any fish of your choice. I also have some ginger and garlic. 
In your cooking pan, add in some vegetable oil and when it's hot, add in the onions and saute for about one minute. So I lost the clips of when I added in the other ingredients. But just add in your tomatoes and let it fry, then add in uh, all the other ingredients. And of course seasoning and then the fish and stir. So you can make the filling any how you want. It just depends on your preference. So our dough have been resting for 45 minutes and it is soft and easier to work with now. So cut a little piece of the dough and roll it to flat like so. So ensure that the tip is very thin. This will make your fish roll not to open up in the oil. Add in a teaspoon of the fish filling and seal like so. Please watch this process very closely because the secret of your fish roll is how you roll it. So repeat the process for the remaining dough. So while we are rolling our fish roll, please subscribe if you haven't. This will encourage me to put out more videos, please guys. So here is our fish roll ready for frying. Pour in your oil in a frying pan and then fry on medium heat till golden brown. Please make sure your oil is not too hot or else your fish roll is gonna get burned on the outside while it's not yet ready inside. Also ensure not to overcrowd your pan.
So our fish roll is ready guys. Look at that color. So you can make these for your parties, for your guests at home or for yourself. These are very delicious snacks. I hope you enjoyed this video like I did making it. Please subscribe and drop a comment. Also if you have a question please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and see you in my next video. Bye. and welcome to my channel so today we are making Cameroon drop donuts these donuts are so soft and yummy and guys this recipe is a no fail your donuts will come out just perfect so stick around to the end to see all the tricks of how I made this yummy donuts you will need three cups of all-purpose flour four large eggs half a cup of melted butter half a cup of sugar one cup of evaporated milk one tablespoon of vanilla flavor two teaspoons of nutmeg you can also add lemon zest if you like for flavor one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. In a mixing bowl, pour in the egg and whisk. Next, add in the vanilla flavor. Add in the sugar and mix. Next, add in the melted butter and mix. Add in the milk and mix. So for our dry ingredients, add in the baking powder to the flour, add in the salt, add in the nutmeg, and then mix for about one minute till everything is well incorporated. Next, add in the flour mixture into the egg mixture and mix thoroughly. You want to keep mixing till you get a good consistency. I switch to using my spatula because it's easier. You can also use your hands to mix. So this is the consistency we want. If yours is too thick, you can add in a little bit of milk to loosen it up. 
but don't add water. So now we have our good consistency. Our donut is ready for frying. We fry immediately after mixing. So we fry on medium heat. Your oil should not be too hot or too cold. So I used two methods to scoop out the doughnuts. You can use your measuring tablespoon, dip it in oil and then scoop out the doughnuts like so. You can also use your hands to scoop out the doughnuts like so. Try not to overcrowd your pot when frying. So fry your donut till it's golden brown on the, on the outside and then take it out. Et voila, our donuts are ready. Look at that guys. It is soft and a little crunchy on the outside. It is so, so yummy. You can enjoy this with tea or you can also make it for your parties or for your guests at home. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye! guys and welcome back if you're new here my name is Sunita and you're welcome to my channel so today we are making a very simple coconut cake this cake is very soft moist and full of coconut flavors 
So we'll start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we will grease our baking pan with some butter. In a mixing bowl, Next, add in the eggs one at a time and mix. So here I have added in all the eggs. Next, add in the milk and mix. I used coconut milk, but you can use any milk of your choice. Next, add in the flour, the baking powder, the salt, and then mix using a spatula. So mix thoroughly until everything is well incorporated. Next, add in the vanilla and continue mixing. So add in the coconut flakes now and mix thoroughly. So the batter should have this consistency. So transfer the batter into the baking pan.
Thank you.